Most of management training in companies and governments is a waste of money. Most management education is a waste of money. You want to learn how to analyze things, get an MBA. If you want to learn how to lead and ma manage and inspire people, don't get an MBA. Unless the particular program deals with um, the relationships and neuroscience of it. Neurologically, we have two big networks in our brain going on. One has to do with analytics. Uh, so if you look at the world in terms of how does this all fit together, how can I analyze it, how can I figure out how to solve a problem, you're using a way, a part of the brain, a lot in the prefrontal cortex, but other parts, that's called the task positive network. The task positive network enables you to make decisions and solve problems. There's another way to relate to the world, more phenomenological. Uh, how do you feel about it, people, the relationships, uh, what's fair among people? That comes from a different network called the default mode network that's everywhere in the brain, limbic. Mm -hmm. The problem with these two networks is they're very different <clears throat> and they suppress each other. Now what we've been showing is that if you establish better relationships, what we call resonant relationships, where you feel a sense of in your interactions, you feel a sense of hope and compassion being cared for and mindfulness and even some playfulness, that what happens is you end up being able to activate the default mode and you can do the task positive. Because the key, we think, to effective leaders is going back and forth in under a half a second. Mm -hmm. Our argument is, in an article that was published uh, two, three months ago, mm -hmm. that if you want to teach more ethical leadership, teach people to be thoughtful about the ideas, but also sensitive to the people around them. Mm 